One thing is for certain, when something dies, it stays that way. I mean, that's just how things work. Or does it? Either way, freezing to death is one of the most horrible ways to die. However, some in the animal kingdom seem to take freezing temperatures in stride and even prefer it in some cases. Today, we're going to be looking at 10 amazing animals that come to life after freezing. Have you ever met someone who was virtually immortal? If not, you better stay tuned for number one. That creature can survive not only in freezing temperatures, but also the inhospitable vastness of space. Let's begin, shall we? Number 10. The Arctic Woolly Bear Caterpillar If you live in the US, you've likely seen woolly bear caterpillars around and perhaps learned to leave them be because their woolly hairs can be very painful to touch. But did you know that one special species of these cute little caterpillars actually spend most of their lives in a frozen state? The Arctic woolly bear can survive the polar extremes of the Arctic Circle, Canada, and Greenland for its ability to alternate between freezing, thawing, and feeding. This caterpillar has sugars in its blood that work like antifreeze and protect the cells in sub-zero temperatures. According to their site, Cool Antarctica, this caterpillar will freeze and thaw approximately seven times in its lifetime before it pupates and eventually becomes a moth during the summertime. Once in moth form, in other words, when it becomes the Arctic woolly bear moth, it'll only be alive for a couple of weeks to breed before dying shortly thereafter. Ironic, isn't it? It can survive being turned into a popsicle, but as soon as it gets its wings, it dies. Number 9. The Iguana When temperatures get below 40 or 50 degrees Fahrenheit, cold-blooded animals such as the Iguana can freeze up. This means that they were initially high up in the trees, they're coming down. As Twitter user Frank Sarabino captured in his Florida backyard when temperatures dropped in January. But if you think they're dead, you better think again. According to scientists, their blood is slowed down and they're in a lethargic state akin to a deep sleep. That sounds to me like hibernation, or me on a Sunday afternoon. These iguanas are temporarily immobilized by the cold, and will be running around again once the outside temperature and, in turn, their internal body temperature rises. In the meantime, picking up the seemingly dead iguana is definitely a no-no. Now keep in mind, they're just enjoying a deep rest, and much like most of us on a Monday morning will react defensively when its sleep is disturbed even by the slightest part. Have you ever been bitten by an iguana? Well, me neither, but this animal sharp teeth makes me think they hurt a lot. Number 8. Alligators The life of a cold-blooded animal is very hard, especially if it decides to live in an area where the winters are freezing cold. But the miracle of life always seems to find a way, and reptiles can be found even in the coldest of regions. The need to survive have forced them to develop amazing adaptations to survive the cold. Alligators, however, are a different story. Air-breathing alligators don't do anything as fancy as freezing their blood cells during the winter. So you might be wondering how they get access to oxygen when the water bodies in which they live freeze over. Well, they're able to survive being stuck in frozen ponds with one simple genius trick. When ice closes in on their bodies, the alligators stick their snout through the surface. Although they remain immobile in the ice, scientists explain that they can still breathe normally through their nose until the temperature warms up. Not moving on a cold day sounds like a good way to avoid freezing. Can any one of you try it out and let us know if it works, though? Number 7. The Upas Beetle As we've already established, animals find a way to survive freezing temperatures, and the Upas Beetle, also known as the Alaskan Darkling Beetle, is no exception. And it kinda has to since it chose to live in some of the coldest parts in the world, namely Sweden, Canada, and of course, Alaska. In midwinter, temperatures at the home of this beetle can drop to negative 70 degrees Fahrenheit or negative degrees Celsius. Yet this beetle species is able to keep its internal watery cell contents from catastrophically freezing. Unlike most other extreme cold-dwelling organisms, including plants, animals, fish, fungi, and bacteria that use proteins as antifreeze agents, this Alaskan beetle produces a sugar-based antifreeze called xylomanon, a polymer of alternating xylose and manose sugars. With the help of certain oily compounds, xylomanon attaches to the outer cell membrane where it likely functions to prevent the entry of extracellular ice into the cell, keep ice from forming inside the cell, and promote membrane stability. Number 6. Painted Turtle Hatchlings Found in freshwater habitats in the US and Canada, the hatchlings of painted turtles have an incredible adaptation that allows them to survive harsh winters. Hatchlings are known to be resilient to icy conditions by avoiding freezing altogether. The key to their survival? A reduced metabolic rate that reduces their energy requirements to a minimum. 
The hatchlings adapt to the chilly temperatures by supercooling, meaning they can reach a freezing temperature without crystallization. These turtles can remain in a supercool state in temperatures as low as 28 degrees Fahrenheit for around three days. They have a unique ability to rapidly warm and thaw out. As turtles can breathe through their skin, they can live in freezing cold lakes so long as the water is at least partly oxygenated. Number 5. The Arctic Ground Squirrel Arctic ground squirrels are the only mammal on this list, and for good reason. Although many mammals can handle the cold with downy coats of fur and by hibernating away the cold months, none shut down for the winter like the Arctic ground squirrel. Like the other contenders, these squirrels can also supercool their bodies below its freezing point, down to negative 2.9 degrees Celsius, or 26.78 degrees Fahrenheit. This is a record amongst mammals. But the real impressive adaptation happens in the squirrel's brains. They can sever neural connections. They can sever the synapses for hibernations and reconnect them as soon as they wake and warm up, roughly once every two or three weeks during the winter. Dendrites are the branch-like portions of neurons that receive chemical messages from other neurons, and hibernation causes them to wither. A Russian study in the early 1990s found the dissected brains of squirrels mid-hibernation contained far fewer dendrites than the brains from squirrels that were woken up and allowed to acclimate. And only two hours after waking from its slumber, the synapse connections are restored, with even more dendrite branches than before. But 12 to 15 hours later, the brain begins culling the connections again as the squirrel returns to hibernation. Number 4. The Flatbark Beetle The Flatbark Beetle was found in forested habitats of northern North America. Adults are around one half an inch in length with flattened bodies that are bright red in color. Their antennae and several leg segments are black and they have large triangular shaped heads. Their bodies are quite smooth and free of any hairs. The body shape and surface design enables this beetle to move about easily in the tiny crevices under the bark of its host trees. Both larvae and adults are able to tolerate extremely cold winter temperatures without significant damage to their cells or tissues. This cold tolerance is due to the buildup of glycerol and antifreeze proteins in the intracellular and extracellular fluids of the beetle. These beetles can retain a very high percentage of body water throughout the winter because of the efficiency of these antifreeze chemicals. Number 3. The Resurrection Bug Some people might argue that the Resurrection Bug should occupy the top spot on this list, especially after knowing the fact that it survived being frozen for 120,000 years. Yes, you heard me right. These bacteria survived 120,000 years buried 3 kilometers deep in the Greenland ice sheet. Quite an impressive feat in itself, but there's a reason why it's only at number 3, so stay tuned for number 1 to find out. Anyway, the amazing resurrection of this species, aptly named Hermenimonas glacii, occurred when scientists retrieved ancient ice from the base of a Greenland glacier and then revived the microbes found within by slowly warming them up. Scientists believe the bug's extensive tail-like flagella and tiny size, just 0.9 micrometers long and 0.4 micrometers in diameter, allowed it to maneuver within tiny veins of ice as it searched for edible debris frozen within. And the craziest thing, Herminimonas glacii is not even the most ancient superbug brought back to life. The winning contender was extracted from the oldest ice on the planet and was about 8 million years old. Now it's time for the day's best pick. This list so far has been populated by animals that survive freezing temperatures but not survive being frozen. But today's best pick features an animal that literally comes back to life after it has been frozen solid. Number 2. The Wood Frog If someone asked you five minutes ago if it was possible for a living thing to survive being frozen solid, I bet your answer would be there's no such creature. Well, for sure, this list contains animals that can survive freezing temperatures by using various methods, but none of them are technically being frozen. Well, on that note, meet the wood frog. The wood frog embraces cold weather and ensures survival by freezing up to 70% of its body, including the brain and lenses of the eye. According to Earth Touch News Network, its heart completely stops, as do its muscles and breathing movements. When spring rolls around, the frog's hard body simply thaws out and refers back to normal. This cycle is repeated over and over again each winter. How do they do it, though? Well, according to scientists, wood frog possesses nucleating proteins, which sucks the majority of the water out of the frog's cells. At the same time, the frog's liver creates glucose, which fills the cells and operates as a thick, sugary syrup. This is to keep them from freezing solid. Water returns back into the frog's cells once their bodies warm up again. This frog's amazing ability is now being thoroughly studied, and scientists are trying to replicate the same phenomenon in humans. If successful, it could lead to numerous applications, primarily sending humans to the far reaches of the galaxy, sleeping in some form of suspended animation. 
You know, kind of like Halo. Or aliens. Maybe not a good idea, actually. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1. Tardigrades. Okay, I know what you're asking right now. What could tardigrades have done to take the top spot on this list? Not to answer you in one word, immortality. Yes, these tiny little creatures, also known by the cuddlier name of water bears, can survive basically everything you can subject them to, and that includes freezing them. To start with, some tardigrades can survive being frozen to negative 359 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 273 degrees Celsius. But why stop there? They can also survive being boiled, nuked, exposed to extreme pressures, and launched into the vacuum of space. Yeah, you heard me right. These guys went to space without a spacesuit and survived. Even the re-entry. No, NASA didn't send them there on purpose. They hitched a ride on the Endeavor in 2011. Again, as we said, virtually immortal. So what's their secret? While there have been suggestions for the extraterrestrial kind, scientists believe the tiny invertebrates survived by entering a death-like dehydrated state known as cryptobiosis. Either way, it's probably going to outmatch us any day. Did we leave any animals out? Let us know in the comment section below. Want to watch more videos about amazing animals? Click on any of the videos you see on the screen. As always, everybody, that's our video for today. Thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time. Later, everybody.